As a pup, Zulu was never introduced to other dogs. So when he meets strangers, his behavior is unpredictable. Victoria wants to begin socializing Zulu so that he can be confident around other dogs and let off the lead. But socializing older dogs is tricky. Fights are more likely to break out between dogs of the same sex, so Victoria's lined up two bitches for him to meet. While boxer Abby prepares for Zulu's arrival, Bucks and Mel nervously eavesdrop. The other dog looks like it's, it's up for whatever's going to happen. I think she knows that she's going to be meeting Zulu. Let's go say hello. Here we go, here Let's we go. Let's go say hello. Hi. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh, watch okay. out. Look at that, look at The first date is a disaster. That was a head-to-head -head greeting, and I think because the other bitch is actually quite a dominant bitch, she actually started to feel a little threatened by this huge great thing coming towards her. So she reacted negatively and he reacted negatively. So we're going to try him with a slightly more submissive bitch and see what happens. Say hello. He's not going to bite the dog. He's going he's to be rough initially. There we go. There we go. There we go. He's sniffing. He's not biting. He's playing. After checking each other out, these dogs become sociable with each other. It looks like second date Sophie is Zulu's perfect playmate. And I look like a dog because I'm crying. Oh my god. That is just really cool, isn't it? Are you happy? Oh, I'm so over the moon, you don't even know. This is like the best thing ever. Oh look, she's laying on her back and he's... Well, he's being rude at the moment. He's being very rude. She's corrupting my boy. Victoria's training has come to an end. Bucks and Mel are left alone for two weeks to get to grips with their new exercise-based schedule. With Bucks' busy workload, it's Mel who takes on the lion's share of the responsibility. And not always with the desired results. Sticking successfully with her new head collar routine, she takes him out three times a day. And where Mel used to be dragged into the bushes, Zulu is now happy just to leave his mark. I think it's all definitely been good because he's getting a lot more fun and attention. And he's starting to look a lot better. And I've got a lot more exercise as well. <laughs> but it's not all one-sided. Even disbelieving Bucks has some success with commands. Zulu, come. Come. Sir. Sir. Sir, Zulu. Come, sir. Sir. See, I'm not even sir. Well, eventually. Good dog. It looks Good like all sir. this new attention Boy. is producing a worn out, happier Zulu. He's not jumping up on the wall as much as he used to. He's staying out of the bed. He's not jumping up on the door. I'm going to be interested to see what Victoria thinks of his agility skills. And I hope she'll see all the effort and hard work we've put in with him. When Victoria first arrived three weeks ago, she was nearly knocked off her feet and then received a doggy shower. Will she get a wet reception today? Zulu! Zulu! Oi! Come! Come on! Get back! Get back! Get back! Stay! 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 Hello! Hello! Good boy. Go. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. No leaping up at the door. No, not at all. Sitting and staying there. Yeah. And then no jumping all over me. No. Bucks has gained control of the hallway. What about the lounge? He gave me one lick on my hand. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. Yeah. There's no jumping all over me. I can sit here without feeling like I'm going to be squashed by a seven stone boxer. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Zulu's doing well inside the house, but before Victoria came along, he couldn't be trusted anywhere near other dogs. Time to see if his new socialization play dates are paying off. I think it would be okay to let them off the lead. Unclip him. Don't make any don't make any big things. Let's let him play. 
Okay, let's just stand back. It's the moment of truth. Zulu has never been let free outside his own garden before. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the progress of this reformed canine is making everyone feel better. For me, it's, it's fantastic. He's a, he's a changed dog, a changed animal, and it's reflecting in our relationship. Definitely. Much happier people and a much happier dog. We have been practicing and we've got something to show you. Unfortunately, being South African, I opened my big trap and said this dog cannot be trained. Okay, come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Whee! Yeah, I was wrong. This is definitely a job well done, but you know what? My part in it is a small part. I'm there to give the tools, they have to go away and work at it, and that's what they've done. Next week, Victoria squares up to a tiny tyrant, who's fouling, Look at this. growling, anti-social habits Another pair of knickers ruined. are destroying her owner's love life. It would be difficult getting them over the doorstep, to be honest with you, never mind in the bed.